What's up my loves, welcome back to my fan my foundation. <laughs> What's up my loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be yet another first impressions. Those of you guys who watch my channel regularly would know that I'm really into testing out new foundations and seeing how they go on my skin, giving you guys the lowdown and seeing whether they are really worth the price. Today, however, I'm not just going to be testing out a foundation, I'm going to be testing out a powder and kin concealer from the same line. So the products that I'm talking about are these right here. These are from Wet n Wild from their Photo Focus line. So I have here the foundation, the concealer and the powder. So I'm really excited to test these out because they are drugstore. They're super inexpensive. I've heard many good things about them. So yeah, let's get into this first impression. Don't forget if you guys do enjoy this video or if you do find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and if you are new here or if you aren't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video I post. Alrighty, so we'll start things off with the foundation. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. Today I'm going to be using Golden Beige. So we'll start off with the packaging. As you can see, it does come with very simple packaging, just a glass bottle. And if you do unscrew the cap, it actually comes with a spatula attached to it, which is very different because I feel like these days it's either pump or no pump. There's no specific drugstore foundation that I've seen that comes with a spatula like this. The bottle does feel very sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap, even though this was only six bucks. It does feel like it's very good quality and if you did drop it it wouldn't break this product does come with one fluid ounce or 30 mils and it is cruelty free so that's awesome I'm just looking on the wet n wild website now and there are about the yeah there's 20 shades to choose from which is pretty good for a drugstore foundation I feel like these days whenever I go into the drugstore I see there's only like seven to ten shades of foundation available and there are so many different skin tones so it's really nice to see a drugstore brand producing so many different shades so i'm just going to read the description of what the foundation says it will do <laughs> your skin only better our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. Specifically made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter perfection. It says that it is high performing with a breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to prevent white cast in photos. And it also says that it was tested under seven light conditions with and without the flash. Those light conditions are clear blue sunlit sky, outdoors in the evening, indoors in the evening, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. So if you wanna be in the club, on and popping with your no white cast foundation, then this could be the one for you. So that sounds pretty promising. I will be testing out whether it does give me any type of flashback after I do apply it. But moving on to the concealer now, this is the Photo Focus Concealer. It does have pretty much the same claims. This product does come with 0.29 fluid ounces or 8.5 mils of Product. There are six shades to choose from. The shade that I did pick out is light slash medium beige. And from what I can see, it pretty much does have the same claims as the foundation. It says that this high coverage concealer allows only your best features to get noticed. So it is claiming that this is high coverage and it does retail for $4. As for the powder, I will be using this to set. This one retails for $5 and there are eight shades available and it pretty much again has the same claim saying that it won't give you any type of white cast and it says that it reduces shine throughout the day and sets makeup with an unbelievably soft satin finish alrighty so enough about talking let's get on to actually applying the products what I'm going to do I will be priming half of my face I'm just going to be using the wet n wild coverall Primer. I'm just going to apply that to this side of my face and I won't put any primer on the other side so you can see how it holds up. 
Now for those of you guys who don't know, my skin type is pretty oily, like not super oily, but it's definitely not dry. My skin is oily, so we'll have to see how this foundation holds up against my oils. I am going to be testing this out with two different applicators, I'll just see which one I like better. So I'll be using the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush and just your standard beauty blender. So let's see how this does. There it is, right there on the spatula. And um, yeah, let's put it on the face. Okay, I don't really know how much to apply, but we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> so I've got my Dampen Beauty Blender. And yeah, let's just pat it on in. That color's pretty good. It has a nice like golden undertone to it, as the name suggests. I am using golden beige, so it better have a golden undertone. Alrighty, so that's all blended in, and it's very like matte. Like it doesn't really look like I have anything, I have a hair on me. It doesn't look like I have anything on my skin, which is just like exactly what it said it was gonna be. It said it was gonna be your skin but better. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Like it does live up to that claim. So I'm just gonna go into this side. This is the non-prime side. Ooh, might have put too much there, but that's okay. And uh, just swirl it in. I feel like the, like you could use either applicator. You could use a brush or you could use the beauty blender. Pretty much gives the same finish. Like there's not much of a difference. So um, whichever one you prefer is fine. I'm just gonna continue to use the beauty blender because that's just what I prefer. So yeah, that's how it's looking on my cheeks. I'm gonna go in and um, put some on the rest of my face though, cause you can't just have it on only the cheeks. It does have a slight smell as well. So if you're not into foundations that have a smell, then you're probably not going to like this. It smells like, oh, it smells like paint and Play-Doh. I don't know, that's a weird combo. It smells like paint and Play-Doh. I'm really liking the finish of this foundation. Like, yeah, it literally just looks like your skin, but better. I'm gonna go in with another little bit of foundation just to kind of see how it builds upon itself. It's also covering everything up really well. I won't be needing to go in with like any type of concealer on my acne scarring, so that's good. Wow, you guys. I really like how it looks on the skin. Like I was kind of thinking like, okay, $6 for a foundation. It might be good, but I don't think I'm gonna be obsessed with it. But so far, I really like how it looks. I really like it. So that's, yeah, that's the foundation done, guys. It's not dewy, it's not luminous. It just like, yeah, it's literally just your skin, but better. It's hard to explain, like it just, it's really doing something for me right now, guys. It's really doing something. So that's the foundation done. Really pleased with the application process of that. Now we are going to go in with the concealer. So it does come in just a standard like concealer tube and just a regular dope applicator is what you apply it with. I'm not gonna go in with any type of color corrector. I usually do like to correct my under eyes with some type of like peachy corrector, but just to see how this concealer does in terms of covering up my dark under eye circles, we're just gonna go straight in. I do like to pack my conceal on, that's just how I am. The color isn't too bad though, like I thought maybe I got a color that was too dark for me, but I don't mind the color. So I'm just gonna be using my Dampen Beauty Blender again to blend this out. Ooh, I'm liking it. Dang, that like set really quickly. Like it is on and popping. Dang, this is amazing. This is actually amazing. Oh my God. Do you guys see that? Do you actually see this? And it's not creasing and I haven't even said it yet. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put some on the center of my face, like down my nose and all that because that's always what I do with my concealer. This is even better than some of my high-end concealers as far as like application process goes. Wow. <laughs> I actually might have found my new favorite concealer and it's only $4 and it gives like the nicest finish. Again, like it doesn't look like I just packed concealer onto my face. It's just like my skins are better with coverage. Like, ooh. Okay, I'm going to set that. I'm just gonna be using a typical translucent setting powder just because, you know, I always do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I do wish that I had gotten like Photo Faker's powder in like a light shade so I could have used it to set my um, under eyes, but that's okay. We're just gonna um, do this for now. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and apply the powder. Like I did say earlier, the shade that I picked up is Warm Beige and I'm just gonna pat this onto all the other areas of my face. Alrighty, so we're done. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm actually obsessed with the finish of this. So I am going to take a photo and see how it holds up with a flash because that is the ultimate test to see whether you get flashback is if you take a photo with a flash. So let's see how it goes. So as you guys can see in the flash photo that I took, you can totally see the flashback um, from that translucent powder that I put on. But as for the rest of my face, like I know it does look lighter, but I feel like that may be something to do with the powder because this obviously like isn't my exact skin tone. So it, that might be something to do with that. But I feel like my translucent powder might be interfering with that. So maybe I shouldn't have set my under eye with the translucent powder, but personally that's just like my preference. I always love to set my under eye area with a translucent powder. But in terms of how it looks like in this lighting, I'm loving how it's looking and I can't wait to see how it's going to hold up throughout the day. So what I'm going to do now is go on with my day. I will finish off my makeup and I will come and check back in with you guys to let you know how it applied over top, how my makeup applied over top of this. I'm going to go do my makeup and... I'll be right back. So I just went ahead and did the rest of my makeup. Everything went over the foundation, concealer and powder really easily. Like I had no issues with blending whatsoever. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way everything turned out. It's been about 45 minutes since I applied the products to my face and so far so good. Everything's sitting nice and well on my skin. It has a really nice satin finish, which I'm loving. So. We're gonna have to see how it goes throughout the rest of the day. I will be coming back to you guys with check-ins throughout. So, catch you guys in a couple of hours. I'm back with an update for you guys. It has been about five hours since I applied the foundation. To be honest, I haven't really been doing much. I've literally been sitting on the couch watching 13 Reasons Why on Netflix. I haven't been like sweating or doing anything. I've literally been laying on the couch, but let's take a look in the mirror and see how it's holding up. I am so impressed right now because I have no creasing. Well, I do have like the teeniest amount, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. Like there's just a very small amount of creasing going on um, under the eyes. As for the foundation though, like nothing has moved. I'm impressed wow it hasn't even really gotten that oily like yeah it looks really good everything's still in place nothing has moved and it doesn't even feel like oily or anything there's no creasing going on like around my mouth or in any of my expression lines and yeah everything is just like stayed in place and i'm really liking how it's looking that's my update for now i will check back in with you guys at the end of the evening to give you all my final thoughts and opinions i'm back with my final update for you guys it's currently 11 p.m which means i've been wearing the makeup for about 10 or so hours at this point so i'm pretty much ready to take it off and get ready for bed but before I do we're going to study my face and see how everything's looking wow you guys like I am actually this is the first time in a long time that I've tried a foundation and I've been so impressed like I feel like the last few first impressions that I've done on foundations have been like somewhat okay but this one has got me shook like all the way shook I can't believe how it's looking right now like I'm amazed I actually did fall asleep after I last updated you guys. I fell asleep on the couch for about three hours and I woke up and I was like, <gasps> where am I and what time is it? Because I'm supposed to be filming a first impression and I thought it was the next day. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised that it still looks like all intact. Yeah, my face looks a tad bit oily, but I have to take into consideration the lighting setup that I'm currently in. And I feel like I actually like how it looks. Like it gives my skin that little bit of like a healthy glow lets me know that I'm alive. <laughs> the concealer has still stayed put. It's still covering my dark under eyes, but I am experiencing just a teensy bit of creasing. Like it has settled into the fine lines under my eyes, which I'm not too fussed about. Like 
honestly, I feel like that's inevitable. It's really hard to find a concealer that is not going to do that, especially after 10 hours of wear. So the fact that this concealer is four bucks and it's lasted so long and done so well, like, I'm impressed. The powder, I guess, has done its job by keeping everything in place because nothing has moved, nothing has shifted, nothing has caked up, and everything is pretty much in place, you guys. I honestly, usually I get a lot of creasing going on in my smile lines and just around all my other natural expression lines, but honestly, I don't see any. Like, I just don't see any this time around. So, my final thoughts and opinions. Do I think that these products are worth it? For sure. You guys already knew that I was gonna say that though. You need to check these out. I don't even know why I didn't check them out sooner, but I'm so glad that I finally got the chance to test them out for you guys because I can easily see myself using these all the time. I'm so impressed, especially with the foundation. Like, six bucks for a foundation that performs even better than some of my high-end foundations i'm i like i'm really surprised so that was my first impressions on the foundation concealer and powder from the wet and wild photo focus line i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel and you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss a video I post. If any of you guys have tried this foundation or you do use it, let me know what your experiences with it were down below in the comments. And I'll leave a list of what shades I used down in the description box where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat, you know where to find me. Anyway, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy. What up?